Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do the code by weekly same question. Difference between ones and zero in row and column. So let us first read this question, then about the constraint, and then we will be going ahead with the approach for the same. So here, um, let us first read this question. So here, uh, you are given a zero index m cross and binary matrix. So basically, your zeros and ones are only the ones which are given. A zero index m cross in difference matrix diff is created with the following procedure. So basically, we are required to follow these rules for making our final answer. So here, what we are required to do: number of ones in i row b one row, and number of ones in j row b j column b one column, and then number of zeros in i row b zero row. Number of zeros in J column, B zero column J, and then we are uh, then required to go ahead with that particular difference matrix at that point. And how it would be calculated would be something like this: that one row at I position plus one column at J position, then subtracting the zeroth row at I position and zeroth column at J position. So this is how. At every point, we will be making our difference matrix. So at the end, we are required to return a difference matrix. If so, the thing is that um, this first example which is being given to us. So here, how we are required to do this question is like this: that here the grid which is being given to us. So at this particular point, in zero comma zero. So we will be checking that what all ones are being given to us in this row. So here we can see that there are these two ones which are being given to us in this row. And then in this column, how many ones are given to us? That is this only. And then we are required to subtract the number of zeros being given to us in this row. That is one. And then the number of zeros given in this column. So that is two. So according to that only, here we will be getting our answer as zero. So that is what we have. Uh, it is being written here. Now, as per this, we can see that like this only, we will be required to go ahead with each and every index of this particular matrix, and accordingly, our difference would be formed. Or uh, as per this formula. So what we can do is for each row and each column, we can get the count of the ones and zeros which is uh, which are being there, and accordingly, we can apply this particular formula which is given here. And then that would be our final answer. So this is what we are required to do in this particular question. So as per the constraints, here we can see that it's up to ten to the power five. So it can go up to means m into n can go ten to the power five. So we can go ahead with it, um, order of n solution where n is equals to m into n, and it is a binary matrix. So no other edge cases there. So now let us go ahead about the coding part for the same. So here, what we are doing is that part by part, we are checking number of ones and zeros which are being there. So according to that only, we are counting for the same. So here, first we are checking that how many number of ones and zeros are there in a particular column. So according to that only, we have taken here. So what we are doing here, uh, as per this particular. Row and then this is the column. So here uh, we are initializing for at the starting of each row how many number of zeros are there and ones are there. And then according to that, next uh, what we are doing at each column we are <coughs> going ahead and checking that if this much if it is a zero then we will be incrementing at that particular row uh, our zero count. As we will be incrementing our one count. And then at the end when we are able to fit. Uh, Completely traverse that particular row. Then at the end, we are going to fill whatever count was till now at that particular row one of five, and whatever count of zero which was there, we will be filling that at this particular position. So that is what we are required to do here. Now this was for the row part. Now comes the part for the column. So for column also, we will be going ahead by doing the same thing. We are taking out the count of zeros and one at Each column till now. So here, uh, this is for our, <clears throat> this is for our what do we say that column, and this is for our row. 
So here the things would be like in the reverse order only. Means here we were checking for the columns and now here we are checking for the uh, rows means at a particular column means at this particular rows are like this right and columns are like this. So what we are going to do here is that here this column which is being there means at this particular point we will be checking for how many rows which are being there. So according to that we will be able to get the count of zeros and one in this particular column. So that's the thing that we are doing here and then we are directly storing whatever is being there into this particular means column one at this position and column zero at this particular position. So that's the thing which we are doing here. And then now we have count of each row and column uh, zeros and ones. So that's why here we are directly applying this particular formula which was being given to us in our question and at the end we are directly returning our difference factor. So that's the thing which we are going to do in this particular question we just to get our rows and column uh, zero and one count and then it the end applying the formula. So that's all we are required to do in this particular question. And now comes the part for the time complexity and the space complexity for the same. The time complexity for this particular question is order of n. Where order of n, I'm referring to the n m cross n only. Or I can directly say that the time complexity is basically here. Order of m into n. And the space complexity is also going to be the same only. Uh, or you can directly say that it is order of one because we are required to return a matrix and we have only taken this auxiliary matrix for an answer. And even these are also there means order of n spaces, m and n spaces which are being there. So yeah, in that context, we can say that our space complexity here is order of n plus n. So that's the thing for this particular question. If there's any doubt, you can comment it down. And yeah, this was all for it. Thank you.